Hi Pisces, welcome to Pisces Tarot and Advice. We're going to be doing a love focus reading at this time, looking at what's coming up for you next when it comes to your love life. If you're looking to meet anyone, if you're already dealing with someone, if you have someone on your mind, if you've got a crush, um, you're dealing with nobody and you're just interested to see what's coming up. Um, if you're in a relationship that's got some issues, okay? If you're in a happy relationship, you got no issues, um, I wouldn't be watching tarot readings because it's more of a, it's li at least not the way I'm reading things um, because you can either ruin a surprise if you got something good coming your way or you could see red flags where there aren't any red flags, for example, right? We're doing readings to try to problem solve, figure out what's going on, look for solutions. So if you're good, just chill back watch this as I don't know entertainment maybe you just like my style and that's great and thank you but the point is if you don't got any issues just don't go looking for trouble <laughs> all right um so oh okay I'm gonna fly your six of swords travel transition short distance trips going into something getting out of something okay so this is for any significant pisces placements or if you've got a lot of activity in pisces in your chart this could resonate with you if you're dealing with the pisces this could resonate just remember flip the roles um parts of the reading reading uh, may resonate all the reading may resonate just keep an open mind or none of the reason reading could resonate right or i'm reading for love life but you're seeing these energies playing out in your work life keep an open mind take the messages as they resonate with you and if it's not your reading, feel free to check out any other video on the channel that you feel drawn to. All right. Thank you all for your likes, your shares, your comments and feedback for your continued support. King of Wands coming out. Aries Leo Sag. Oh, oh, I feel like someone's getting ready to make a move. Take a chance. Make some sort of declaration. I don't know, but I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> Hold your, horse, hold your horses. Where did this come from, right? I don't know. I just feel like someone's been watching you. Not in a creepy way, but like really admiring you. Really like catching feelings. And just preparing. Taking their time. And now they're like, okay, cool. I got my stuff together. Um, I'm going to go get Pisces. Like this isn't someone who's, let me see what Pisces says. This is like, I want Pisces. Pisces is perfect for me. I know exactly what kind of person Pisces is that's who I want to be with okay all right so someone could be getting ready to pursue you getting ready to woo you is what I hear do people still say that to court you Ooh, seven of swords eight of pentacles strength they've been holding back I'm telling you they've been holding back secretly working either on themselves or working on something to give to you something to offer you this could be a, a friend around you that's about to tell you they have feelings for you this could be someone who you were platonic with because they were in something else they've been working on getting out of that thing they just haven't told you this could be someone who wants to impress you so they've just been working on themselves till they feel like okay I'm confident enough to do this now I also see like this could be someone trying to prove themselves to you that they are a good partner or they would be a good partner so i don't know if there's any sort of separation going on currently or you put a boundary up with someone oh pisces all right okay let's let's get into it because it's 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 about to get juicy i just have a feeling <laughs> all right so what's going on for pisces when it comes to their love life love matters in the near future what's going on what's coming up for pisces placements in their ooh, love life the hermit i'm someone's coming your way virgo out of si uh, silent solitude um or they've been observing you not saying anything they're about to say something look five of wands nine of wands king of cups you may have put a boundary up with someone you might have not been speaking to someone they learned some lessons they're about to make a move and they really want to prove themselves to you. And for others of you, 
this is someone who's been holding back king of cups it's been killing them to do it but they've been holding back either trying to get out of something else with the hermit or again working on themselves or working on an offer for you and they're about to come forward all right pisces love life in the near future pisces love life in the near future all right let's see you might also have taught someone a lesson by putting up a boundary of how to treat you, of what's acceptable, what isn't. Especially if someone was in and out with you or comfortable with being in situationships and you're like, listen, that's not enough anymore. And you may have put a boundary up or withdrawn from this person. I feel like they've learned some lessons in your absence with the hermit. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups. Either you walked out away from someone or you put a boundary up with someone you detached emotionally or there was a breakup there was a separation there was there's physical distance or emotional distance in a situation this could also be someone you're about to meet just as they're getting out of something else or someone coming to you to tell you you may already know them to tell you that they're out of whatever it is they were in and they want to pursue you okay all right let's let's see what we're dealing with here current situation the seven of pentacles Challenge position, two of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for someone to do the right thing. You've been waiting for someone to make up their mind. You've been waiting for someone to make a decision on you. You've been waiting for someone to choose. And if that's something that has been ongoing, you may have just detached from this recently. Like, listen, if it takes you that long to figure out that I'm the best thing for you, never mind, then you don't deserve me. And the foundation. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Mm -mm -mm. You're like, I'm not playing games. I'm not going to jump through hoops for you. You know, you should know better by now. That's the Queen of Wands. Also, do you think you're the only option I have? Like, seriously, who do you think you are? That's the energy I'm getting off the Queen of Wands. It's like, I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to prove myself to you. Male or female, it doesn't matter. But with the Eight of Cups there, you invested in the Seven of Pentacles, right? You invested in this person. You invested in the situation. You showed them who you are in whatever capacity, okay? You showed them everything they needed to know about you, enough to be able to make a decision. And if they still haven't done it, you're saying, listen, I'm not chasing you. I'm not playing games. I'm not out here to waste my time. No. And you withdrew. Page of Cups in the recent past. For some of you, you may have made uh, some sort of offer. You might have asked someone out or you expressed emotion somehow. You put yourself out there, okay? And you were waiting to see what this person does. And the longer you waited, the more you were, you know what? You really should have known by now. Never mind then. On the mind, yeah, the Five of Swords. Oh, the Queen of Wands with the Five of Swords takes no BS. Queen of Wands with the Five of Swords is, I don't want to hear it. You either know or you don't. I don't need to know your excuses. I don't care about your excuses. Okay, because two, two pentacles here. This could be someone saying, oh, I need more time because this and that and the other. I don't know what to do because of this and that and the other. You're like, listen, I'm nah. I don't need to know that. I need no answer. I don't care. You know, don't tell me about your excuses as if they're going to be good enough for me. They're not. Just because you believe your own BS, that doesn't mean I do. Oh, I feel like you lost your patience with someone or something. You just lost your patience. You had plenty of patience. And you were open and you were patient and you were nurturing and you were supportive and you were understanding. And they still sat there. I don't know what to do. So you went, okay, I'm telling you what's up then. <laughs> I'm getting a very sassy Pisces attitude over here. Okay. In the near future, the Eight of Swords. Oh, someone's in their head. Someone's freaking out. Someone might try to contact you and figure out they're blocked. Or someone might be trying to contact you and you're leaving them on red. Some of you have already changed your number. 
Oh, but someone can't reach you. Or they're not getting the reaction they want out of you anymore. You're not talking to someone. You don't want to see them. You're not putting yourself out there for them anymore. In highest yourself, we have the Three of Pentacles. You might have other options you're focused on or you're opening yourself up to other options. This could be going out, dating, hanging out with people, doing group activities. You want to build, though. You want someone who wants the same thing as you and who is in the same place in life where we want we both want to build seven of pentacles three of pentacles to get to the ten of pentacles you're not out here to be wasting your time with i don't know with in and out with yesterday not so sure tomorrow in your environment judgment oh i do feel like this is someone trying to make a comeback with judgment in your environment are we coming up to a mercury retrograde when i'm doing this i'm not sure um but someone's about to make a comeback. Like, no, wait, Pisces. Hold on. Hopes and fears here. We have the Eight of Wands. Communication, fast-paced move, fast paced movement. Flirting, falling in love. In the outcome, we have the Ten of Swords. Wowza. Pisces, I feel like you're what's coming up for you is uh, the end of an unfulfilling situation because you're focused on other things. You've got other options now. Or you're like, I'm not, I'm done with this. I'm going to be single for a while. Because someone was BSing you around, not taking you seriously, stalling, dragging their feet not choosing you but not letting you go either breadcrumbing and i feel like you're done okay the five of swords could be you either have already given this person an ultimatum and you're now out the door or in the next next few days here you're giving some sort of ultimatum or you're making your position clear of listen you either do something about it or i'm out lose my number don't talk to me. And then they're trying, they're testing the waters with the Eight of Swords, right? Hey, Pisces, how you doing? And you're like, did you do what you need to do? Well, that's it. You stop talking. And they're like, oh, my God, Pisces means business. And my boys are about to get a whooping. I wouldn't actually whoop my boys. My boys are cats, just for those of you who don't know, and I would never whoop my boys. <laughs> but... Some days. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, they're about. They're going to test the water. See, they're not getting anywhere with you. You are very firm in that position of don't even talk to me until you are ready to come at me the way you need to come at me. Don't play dumb with me. You've had enough time. You've had enough information. You know enough. Don't play dumb. And then they're trying to rush in. And then, but it's still. Judgment with the Eight of Wands, it's doing too much, but it's talk. It's just talk. It's messages. It's communication. It's trying to overwhelm you, love bomb you. But with the Ten of Swords, you're like, listen, you're doing the same thing. And you're, oh, you're saying a very firm no to someone. If this is about a breakup, an ending that has already happened, you're focused on something else, someone else. That's where you want to go. That's where you want to build. The past might be trying to reach out to you, to apologize, to ask for forgiveness, to get you to come back, to get you to change your mind. It could be a case of, hey, could, you, could we just be friends at least? And you're going to have a decision to make. And I feel like you're saying no to the past. Like, no, I mean it. For some of you, you're withdrawing from a situation that, again, is unfulfilling. And it's ran its course. It hasn't been easy for you. But I feel like you've given this person every chance, every opportunity. And whether or not they're messing up, it's like it's, it's coming up short. And you're in a position where you just have to call a spade a spade. I'm not happy. And 
you might try to withdraw from the situation, break up, try to have a soft exit, amicable exit, or give this person hints, you know, break up and then you just don't respond. Uh, you don't block them necessarily, but you don't respond as much or you're very uh, limited or you're very unemotional in your responses to try to give them a clue, right? But still kind of letting them down gently. And I feel like they're really going to be trying to come at you, flirting. They might get drunk for some of you, um, liquid courage, and start flirting with you, start sending you messages as if nothing happened. And you might have to be very firm and clear with that person with the Ten of Swords of listen, no. And then you're blocking them, okay? Because you've got something else that you are working on in your environment that's blossoming, that's blooming, that is growing. Let's get more cards out here for Pisces. Seven of Pentacles in the current situation, the tower. Yeah, this is the breakdown, the destruction of something that has been an investment for you. Because there's some sort of realization that you thought you were investing but it turns out you were just wasting your time however that resonates two of pentacles in the challenge position three of swords i'm telling you you're dealing with the heartbreak a disappointment a breakup the end of a situation that you thought had potential that you thought you're on the same page with someone, you want the same things, you're doing the same things, you're investing the same amount of energy, affection, attention, money, whatever this is. And I really feel like something's coming out that makes you realize that this is not investment. You weren't actually building anything with the tower. It was just one-sided. And that sucks and that breaks your heart three of swords but at the same time you have attention on you i just feel like you know what i feel like pisces this is a situation where you could have options if you wanted to but you really wanted this one person you really wanted things to work with this one person you're aware you have other options because you have three of pentacles three of swords queen of wands you're aware you have other options. You're aware you could meet other people. You're aware, you know, but it's like, I really wanted this to work though. And that's why you're heartbroken and disappointed. Because again, I just get this feeling of you thought you were investing and it turns out it was just a waste of your time. And this has, if this hasn't come out already, it's coming up in the next few days and it will rock you to your core with the tower there's some sort of big revelation that leads to a breakup. And with the Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, this is something where I can't even talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm just so hurt, so disappointed, so let down. There's nothing to say. I don't want to talk about it. There's nothing to say. Let's just let it go. Let's just move on, right? Queen of Wands in the Foundation. Seven of Cups, I'm telling you, you have options. And for some of you, this is someone who treated you as an option. And you thought you wanted the same thing, and you're building, and you're working together, and you're on the same page. And they were just treating, as you, treating you as any other option. Dealing with a player, dealing with someone who's non-committal, dealing with someone who likes to talk big, but they never follow through. And the things they say to you, they say to other people. You thought you were investing, and just as this person was important to you, you thought you were just as important to them. And they say something, or they find out they've been going around acting like they're single, acting like they're unattached, and it breaks your heart. I get it because it's like I thought we were building something here. What are you? What is happening? This could be where someone has been putting you in, in a third party situation, has kept you as an option, even though technically you're a couple, like as far as you know, you're a couple, but they're going around acting single. It could be someone who cheated. In your mind, it's cheating because it's like, I thought we were a couple and they're trying to tell you, no, we weren't really, I didn't say we're a couple. Like you shouldn't be upset 
oh god who is this person they're like, like very unapologetic and they try to explain it away like no we weren't a cop we weren't official it's not cheating or is someone debating what cheating is with you and you're like i'm not even there's no no you don't even get it like if that's how you feel and that's what you think i there's no point talking about it well pisces page of cups in the recent past we have the six of wands I just get this other thing external to this Pisces where someone's giving you attention but it's very small and it's very, in very subtle ways. It could be a friend, it could be someone you work with, someone you go to school with, someone in your community. And they are showing you they like you but it's very subtle. Either they're kind of shy or they are very mindful and respectful of your relationship over here they're still showing you attention and affection but it's not like flirting with you they don't want to cross any lines but they're paying you compliments they're giving you small gifts they're always there for you they always check in on you because you have something else around you five of swords on the mind the four of wands I just I just get a very Romeo energy from someone like Casanova like what I mean by that is overly confident likes attention makes promises they can't keep make promises they don't intend to keep they, they like attention this is someone who likes attention and they don't they're not in any way apologetic about it that's the thing you can't even talk to them that's why you, that's why you feel like there's no point in talking once this is out, there's no point in talking. If that's how you really feel and that's what you really think, then there's no way we're gonna get to the same page. There's just no way, because it's so different, right? This is someone, for example, where in their mind, if they're going out flirting with everything on two legs, that's not cheating, you know, that's not cheating. What, I just like attention they're going out and grabbing <laughs> grabbing people that's not cheating right that's not cheating i'm just messing around i'm just kidding i'm just joking and you are you everyone has different definitions of cheating don't get me wrong that's fine but my point is what the example i'm giving is to try to illustrate that in their mind that's not cheating in your mind that is horrible that is just you don't do that when you're in a couple with someone right you don't go around grabbing everyone else in town like no you're what are you doing right and they just have this very firm conviction and you have your firm conviction to the point where it's like there's just no point talking about it there's no point talking about it i'm never going to agree with you and you're never going to agree with me oh eight of swords in the near future page of wands i'm telling you they're messaging you you're not responding you're not engaging you may have blocked them already or you're leaving him on red or on scene because they're they're talking to you like nothing happened they're talking to you like nothing happened and you're in a position of if you came at me apologetic and at least taking accountability or at least trying to see my perspective i would talk to you i would work things out with you but the way they're coming up like nothing happened just completely cracking jokes and flirting with you maybe even making fun of the situation and you're like seriously that's funny to you just puts you in a place of there's I, there's no need or reason for me to keep talking to this person you're just you know pisces when it's i don't know if it's a pisces thing it might be a pisces thing you know when you're just so disappointed you don't even know how to say it you don't even know how to put it into words you don't even see the point of talking about it when it's so something so hurtful it's like if i have to explain to you why it's so hurtful to me do i even want to do that like that's what i'm seeing here what else for pisces the magician yeah listen you're dealing with a casanova male or female doesn't matter they like attention they can talk their way in and out of anything a manipulator gaslighter 
They justify everything. They rationalize everything as if that's going to make it okay. They do not take anything seriously. They don't take responsibility. They don't take accountability. They just let you cool off for a little bit. <laughs> Speaking of, my candle went out. That other big one's still on there, so it's fine. But this, like, I'll just leave Pisces alone for a couple of days. And then, you know, to simmer down, to cool off. And then they message you like nothing happened. Hey, Pisces. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, boy. What's up? We got this party going on. We should go. You know? And you're like, wow. Wow. I have no words. Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're very closed off. You're like, I'm not about to be dealing with this. I'm not about to be wasting my time on this. You're pulling your resources back. This Seven of Pentacles that you thought you were investing here, you're scraping it out of the situation. You're you're doing uh, damage control. You're taking your your resources back. This could be taking your stuff back. This could be sending your friends around to take your stuff back because you don't want to see this person. Or you're, whatever they gave you, you're putting it in the mail to them because you don't want to deal with them. Could be that. What's judgment in the environment? The fool. What's coming up, Pisces, is when you're done with this person, there will come a time when you will have a choice of do you resurrect this or do you completely leave it behind you and start fresh with someone else somewhere else. That's what's up. Eight of Wands in Hopes and Fears, Four of Cups. This is someone that comes in fast, love bombs, all about the attention, all about being in the moment, all about the passion, all about the flirting, all about the chase, all about the game. And then they move on to something else. And you're left there in the Four of Cups, waiting for them to come back, waiting for them to come back around, waiting for them to get it, waiting for them to treat you properly. It could be an ongoing situation where it's been on and off for a while. Coming to coming together, you think you're building towards something, then it falls apart again. And it turns out it was one-sided, right? And then you start over. They give you some time to cool down, and then they come back around, start over. Ten of Swords. In the outcome, we have the Three of Cups. Here's that King of Wands. And the Nine of Cups. Yeah. You already know the person you're going to be dating next. This is someone around you who's been waiting for a shot. Waiting for an opportunity with you. You are everything to this person, Pisces, and you don't even know. Under the Eight of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Hermit. Hot and cold behavior. Coming in. Love bomb, passion, excitement. And then as soon as they come in, they got, they're out the door. Star, Ace of Pentacles, Justice, Six of Swords. Your wish fulfillment is somewhere else. And you know this with the High Priestess. For some of you, you don't know that this other person around you feels the way they do about you. Okay, so let me try to split up the scenarios. Okay. Okay. For some of you, this is a, an ongoing situation. On again, off again relationship. Situationship. Something you thought was an ongoing relationship, a couple dynamic, okay? Something you thought you were building, developing, investing in with another person. Something is revealed that breaks your heart. That tells you that what you thought was investing in this situation was one-sided. You weren't investing in anything. There's nothing there. You thought there was something there. Turns out this person disagrees. There's nothing there. You thought you were in a relationship. What comes out is this person is telling you, no, we were never official. We were never um, exclusive. We never had that conversation. They gave you all, all the signs and indication because this person's a manipulator. They know exactly what they're doing. But then they always fall back on, I never said that. That was never official. Or you thought you were building a relationship with someone and you might have been in this relationship for months or years, okay? And you come to find out that out of the, I don't know, seven years you were together, this person's been cheating on you for five. It's horrible. It's horrible. 
this is someone in and out of your life. This is someone that's like an on again, off again relationship for some. But the bottom line is, this is someone who likes attention, who treats everything like an option, including you. Who's been out there doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. That's a pattern for them. They don't see anything wrong in that. This is someone who comes in. When they mess up, they never admit to it. They just leave you alone for a little bit to cool down a few days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months even. And then they come back around like nothing happened. Hey, girl. <laughs> Jesus. Flirting with you, cracking jokes like nothing happened. Again, they act and, and, and speak as if you're building towards something. You're working together. Time goes by, this happens again. Something comes up again. Something comes out again. And you're like, I thought we were building. I thought... Again, they never take accountability. They never take responsibility. They explain it away. They're completely unapologetic. You are walking away from that person. You're trying to be nice about it. You don't want this big blow up, this big argument, because with the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups, you just don't have it in you. You're just so hurt, so disappointed, and they just don't even get it to where it's like, there's no point talking about it. There's no point. If you actually cared, you wouldn't be doing this in the first place. If you actually understood where I'm coming from, you wouldn't be fighting with me, arguing with me, debating with me what you did wrong, how wrong it was, where the line is. No, just no. Okay? And you've had enough. There's someone in your environment that has been, I feel like ha this is someone who's been, they had a, a crush on you, they've been having a crush on you. Uh, it could be a friend, again, coworker, someone in your community, someone really stuck on you with the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Cups in a, in a nice way. I feel like this is someone who's kind of starry-eyed about you, but they never talk about it, they never open up about it. Could be because they know you're, you've been dealing with someone else, okay? Now, this person might work up the nerve to approach you. As they're approaching you, the past comes knocking. This effer over here, pardon my French, is going to be messaging you again with that eight of wands. Hey, girl. <laughs> How you doing? Still looking fine? That's Oh, my God, this person. But that's the attitude I'm getting off of them, okay? Oh, my Leanta. And I feel like that's going to, with the Four of Cups, if there was any shot in hell that you would entertain this person ever again, with them coming in the way they've always come in, that is it for you right there. Four of Cups, Ten of Swords. You're blocking them. You're not even responding. You're just blocking them. Okay? Block, delete, that's it. And you're agreeing to go on a date with this person around you. I'm seeing water sign energy. I'm seeing fire sign energy. Earth sign energy. Don't get stuck on signs. But this is someone who's got their stuff together. This is someone who knows they get attention with the King of Wands. But their attention is only on one person. It's very different to the Queen of Wands. Okay? The Queen of Wands is like, look at me. I'm great. I'm awesome. Everybody loves me. I could do whatever I want. I could go wherever I want. Everyone would just be at my feet. And they love that. That gives them a sense of power. That gives them a sense of, am I not great? You know what I mean? And it's addictive to this person. Queen of Wands with the Four of Wands with the Magician. It's addictive. They enjoy it. They don't see anything wrong in treating everything and everyone like an option. Whereas the King of Wands... He knows he's got attention. He knows he could have whoever he wants. But his focus is on one person, and that is you, Pisces. They are not even interested. I think this is someone who has groupies. <laughs> they could be a mag mu magician, a musician, someone in the public eye, someone who's famous somehow. They literally have groupies, okay? They got people chasing them, literally. 
but their attention and their focus is on you and you alone and that does not change and they could be finally approaching you now that they see you're completely done with that this could even be someone who is they've got a, a healthy dose of self-respect to where they're like I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to express anything. I'm not going to make a move while it's still a mess over here. So when they see you completely clear of the mess, that's when they go, okay, now's the time to make my move. Because this isn't someone interested in wasting time or getting involved in a situation where then they're going to be the one that's juggled with the two of pentacles. Okay, this is someone who knows what they want. And they make a move and they approach someone when they know that there is follow through in that situation. Okay? And that is your true wish fulfillment, Pisces. And if this isn't someone you know already, although for a lot of you it will be, even if they're a secret admirer, even if you don't interact with them that often, they're a secret admirer. Okay? But if you don't know this person, they know you, but that's number one, okay? But if you don't know this person, this is you over here thinking, I'm going to focus on friends, family, my business, my health, give myself a little makeover, invest in myself a little bit, living life, being single, dating around, just having fun, being in the moment, and there's nothing wrong with that. It'll boost your confidence, you'll make new friends, you'll make new connections, you might even meet some new potential um, love partners if that's something you're interested in. But if not, it's you living life, getting a lot of attention, people chasing you. And you're saying, you know, we can date. We can date, we can hang out, not a problem. Because I, that will be, I, heal, I feel like, something that helps you heal, something that helps you recover, rebuild your energy giving yourself a makeover and then spending time with people, hanging out with people, getting attention from other people, being successful in other areas of your life, okay? You have options around you if you're interested though, right? So Pisces, that is what I see. Let me pull some oracles to add to the reading. Anything else for Pisces when it comes to near future and their love life? Anything else for Pisces when it comes to near future and their love life? But yeah, you're taking your power back and just not dealing with this person anymore or this type of person one more and in doing so you're completely changing transforming yourself your life you're investing in your business your business will grow instantly you're investing in your career your career will grow instantly you're investing in yourself your health that will improve and go to the next level instantly or for others of you, you could do that and at the same time, there's someone new that's been around you that's just been waiting for a shot or waiting to see that you're out of something completely. Okay? Bottom of the deck, we have chemistry, attraction, spark, passion. Here's that king of wands. Someone very attracted to you, very interested in you. Or this is a new person coming into your life, like the ace of wands. Okay? Mistakes, misunderstood, victim, lost soul. You're dealing with someone you can't help, okay? This is the person that's messing you around. And again, for some of you, I'm not seeing, they're just, they're just broken somehow. And it's, you know, it's not great to say that about a person, but this is someone who cannot admit to being wrong. They cannot admit to making a mistake. Like, that's the end of the world to this person. They, they've got some trauma. They've got some trauma. They could be in a constant victim mentality. It's no, nothing is ever their fault. You know, everything just happens to them. They didn't do anything wrong. This could be someone with abandonment issues going from, like, childhood to where that's why they enjoy this attention so much and they're terrified of that attention going away. This is a people pleaser. They're terrified of someone not liking them 
It doesn't have to just be in love. But it puts them in a, in a place where they're constantly one foot in, one foot out with you. Because what if something else comes along? What if something better comes along? They are not grateful for what's in front of them. They don't appreciate it. They don't value it. Silence. Frozen. No words. Stonewall. Yeah. Eight of swords. Three of swords. Like I've got... Literally, that's what I said. I have no words. I, there's no words. There's nothing I want to say to you. There's no, there's no point. Confessions. Unveiling. Coming clean. Messages. I feel like this is the new person that's coming in. It's interesting that... Uh, placing the oracle cards having me place them on uh, different areas in the reading and this is for the new person someone's waiting to come clean waiting to approach you waiting to tell you about their feelings waiting to tell you how they feel memories reminiscing dwelling bittersweet <laughs> and fell on judgment Again, coming back the same way, the same spell, the same approach. Nothing has changed. And we have one day, and this card came out in reverse. Someday, somewhere, another time. And you're done waiting. That's why it came up in reverse. You're done waiting. You're done with the on again, off again. You're done with hoping for improvement with this person. And this is also saying that something in is coming will be in your present it's not something that will be a promise it's not something that someone wants you to believe could happen this is someone who whatever they say they back up whatever they say they deliver from the small things to the bigger things okay this is not someone who will keep you waiting this is not someone who will keep you wondering this isn't someone who works with promises and talks of future getting you to daydream and get attached to a promise they're making getting you attached to a dream they're selling you and that's how they keep you waiting for them right this is someone who i'll call you at five they call you at five right i'll let you know as soon as i'm in the office as soon as they're in the office they let you know they follow through they keep their commitments they keep their promises silly promises not silly promises that's this person okay we have rejection, abandoned, dismissed, irrational fear. More on this lost soul. Longing, craving, aching, wanting. This is someone who, yeah, they have a fear of rejection. They're a people pleaser. They like attention. They're always wanting more. They're always open to what else is out there. They're always grass is greener. They're never satisfied. They're never content. They're never grateful. They never take accountability. What more on the new person? Look, we have chemistry, new person, yes? Attraction, spark passion. Under that, we have loyalty, trusting, reliability, believing. This person could have a dog or they're a dog person or they have a pet. Nourish, self-growth, self-focus, soul-finding. This is someone who's done some work on the self like you have. That's where they show up as a king, okay? Independent. They've been through some turmoil. They've been through some tribulations. They've gained a new perspective. They know exactly what they want. They know it's you. They've been holding themselves back because you were dealing with this other thing and running from them potentially. So they kept themselves invisible or they were invisible because you didn't know that's how they felt. And then we have intimacy, bonding, sensual, and confiding with this confessions okay but this can't happen um, until you're done with giving the past second chances okay secrets mystery concealing that is not going to change this person that you're dealing with is not going to change you know this already with your intuition you know this already all right Pisces so Wow, what a reading. Trust that everything is happening for a reason. I know you really wanted things to work with this person. I know you really wanted this person to be the one. I know you really wanted this person to treat you the way you deserve to be treated. This isn't someone who can do that. They cannot do that. It's not even that they don't want to. They are not capable 
of doing that. The universe is stepping in with the tower to take you out of that situation. And I feel like this time around, you're not going to fight it. You're not going to fight it and you're not going to try to go back to it or you're not going to allow it to come in when it tries to come back around because you're just so depleted of any sort of energy or any sort of hope when it comes to this person or the situation that you just, it's just no. And then when they come back a second time and there's still, nothing's changed, that's it. You're taking action, blocking, deleting, whatever this is, okay? And that frees you, that releases you from a lesson that has taken a long time to learn and it's been very painful, it releases you from that lesson. You never have to deal with this type of person or this type of situation ever again because you know better, okay? And you love yourself more than you did before and you respect yourself more than you did before. That's the whole point of this. It showed you your worth. It showed you your limits. It showed you your boundaries. And it showed you I know what I deserve. Whoever I associate with, I need to be proud to have them by my side. King of Wands. I need to be proud to say, this is my partner. That was not the case here, okay? So just know this person is around you already for some. You know them already, but you don't know how they feel about you or you know them already. They've been waiting for a shot. They've been waiting for you to be out of this. Or you, they know you or they know of you, but you don't know about them. And they're going to be coming forward when they know for sure that you're done with this. Okay? And for those of you, you're heading into living life, living the single life, focusing on other areas of your life, doing a lot of self-growth. And that will also bring you your deserved partner at some point down the line okay but Pisces wow that is what I have for us when it comes to the near future wow all right let me know okay share your thoughts with me please give me some feedback what's going on like what is it what's going on who are you dealing with who have you been dealing with um, and remember, this is someone you could be currently not talking to. All of that could have already happened and you're in that separation phase or non-communication phase when they're leaving you to simmer down, but they always come back around with the same thing, right? Um, but yeah, let me know. I hope the reading helps you. It's not the easiest message to deliver, but I feel like it's necessary. And it's also confirmation for you that you're doing all the right things. You're about to learn a lesson so everything that's happened, you shouldn't beat yourself up about because it was necessary, okay, for you to understand something and accept something and embrace something that leads to your growth. And that breaks the pattern of bad relationships. It breaks the pattern of people treating you badly. It breaks the pattern of attracting partners that never amount to anything, relationships that never amount to anything. And you can finally build when it comes to your love life, as well as other areas of your life, okay? As a result of you learning this lesson and embracing it and going with it. That's the thing to focus on, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there. I really hope the reading helps you, okay? Let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, <laughs> good luck Pisces, okay? I'll leave it there. Take care. See you soon.